Happy New Year, Dominance! Oh my god, welcome to my channel, to my new subscribers. Oh god, I love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate you all guys i'm now about to cook my new year food guys so i'm going to do some prepping so i just want to take you guys along hope you enjoyed your christmas and your new year i know that you guys are enjoying it oh my god i'm so excited we thank god for a new year and we know that 2021 is going to be awesome and amazing for us so yeah without wasting much time let's get straight into the video <laughs> Okay, so this is me about to prepare my stew base for jollof rice. Okay, so these are my ingredients. I have some ginger, some garlic, some natural spice. If you've been following me for a very long time, you know the kind of natural spice I use. And I also have some tomatoes, some already made tomatoes, and some onions, carrots. Yeah, as you can see. So yeah, here as you can see, I'm just peeling my garlic, my ginger and other things. So yeah, whilst you watch me peel my garlic and ginger, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. And also click on the like button. It really helps my video. Thank you. <laughs> So here, what I normally do is that I blend all my ingredients and then put it on fire for some time so that the moisture can evaporate. Okay, so what's the benefits of this is that um, it reduces the cooking time when you start cooking your stew and also it reduces the splashing of the stew. What you are seeing now is a mixture of bell peppers and then carrots. Okay, so when I bought mine tomatoes my already made tomatoes it came along with this set that's the bell peppers and then the carrots okay so i had to blend it this is my first time actually trying it so i'm not going to use a lot okay so i'm going to use two um tomatoes is to one every two tomatoes is to one of this yeah so we see how it works so if it's good i will use it next time so this mixture will also go on fire so that the moisture can evaporate. Like I said, it speeds up the cooking time. So I started cooking around 3.30, around 3.30 to 4 kind of, so that's why it's a bit dark. So yeah, finally my mixture is ready now. Everything is on point now, no moisture. And I've already prepared my onions and everything. So we're about to start with the stew. And what you see in the blender is a mixture of bell peppers and also spring onions. So yeah, let's go straight into making the stew. Guys, I know you've noticed the small saucepan. 
and you you want to know what exactly is in the small saucepan okay actually i bought some scented candles okay but i couldn't find my lighter so i decided to i mean scrape some scented candles and then put it on fire so i added water so that the smell can take over my kitchen because i didn't want the smell of food all around but i learned that you can also use the zest of maybe orange or um lime or lemon yeah it also helps with a bit of cinnamon i didn't have those so i used my scented candles and water and a bit of um what's it called that thing we used to be cry <laughs> vanilla essence okay it's just my own mixture okay but it worked perfectly well So here I'm adding my blended bell pepper, the green one specifically, and then spring onions. Okay, I, I just love it in my stew. It gives it good smell and taste. It's just different. Okay, you can try it. So here I'm adding my pre-cooked tomatoes and then the, mix the mixture of my pre-cooked tomatoes, bell pepper and the carrots, you remember right? Yeah, because I pre-cooked most of the things, I'm just adding it just like that. Like I told you, it speeds up the cooking time. I actually cooked this food on the 31st, like around 3 p.m. and all that. Okay, so I I wanted to cook after the all night. We all know after all night, everybody will be tired and all that, and we can't late and all that. So I wanted to just make my stew base and then keep it there. Yeah, so basically that's what I'm doing. I usually love to cook my stew before cooking my jollof rice the next day because it helps every ingredient to settle yeah so as you can see i'm just putting some bay leaves salt and other ingredients to make the stew delicious so this is the next day after the all night and i'm here washing my goat meat i actually washed it before keeping it in the fridge so here i'm just rinsing it and then cook it I know you may be wondering why I'm using a lot of meat because we are just to my brother and I. Okay, don't worry. I'm expecting some of my friends yet. So that's why the meat is flames. So yeah, let's cook together.
okay so here i'm prepping the vegetables i'll be using for the jollof rice so i'm just yeah prepping them basically some spring onions some cabbage carrots green pepper yeah and also some sausages i'm going to use sausages aside the goat meat so yeah so i'm done prepping my vegetables everything is set you can actually cut it into any shape you want i'm not going to use them for salad okay i'm going to add everything to the jollof rice you watch me okay you will understand so i have my sausages my goat meat my stew and my stock so yeah I, since I'm not going to use the oil that I'm using to prepare stew before cooking the rice, I already have my um, stew. I'm going to fry my sausage and my meats, okay? So whilst it's on fire, I can start cooking my jollof rice. I hope you understand. Yeah. But if you are cooking from scratch, you can use the oil that you're using to fry your goat meat or sausage so you can get the flavor out of it. Anyways, I'm going to use the stock, so no need. I already have my stew I'm just going to mix my stew with my rice add some stock taste for salt and then put it on fire very simple that's how I cook my jello very very simple so you see why it's important to have your stew already made it makes the work easier So guys, my goat meat is ready, my jollof is ready. So I'm yet to mix the rice with the vegetables just to combine everything together. So I already transferred all the rice into this bigger saucepan. You remember I cooked two pots of rice, okay? So I'm transferring everything here. I want my vegetables very crunchy. That's why it's going in last. So the heat will just soften it a bit. That's it. So this is just me adding everything, my goat meat, my sausage, making the food very colorful. That is it. That is the end of the cooking. I'm so excited. This looks so colorful and it tastes delicious as well. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye. See you in my next video.